Va a ser. Va a ser. Good morning! It's John and Jocelyn from JJ Escapes. We're here now in the border town of Arica, Chile. We arrived here yesterday by crossing the land border, which is the first time for us, and it went way smoother than expected. Today we're going to go on an epic two-day road trip adventure to Lauca National Park, which is known for its giant volcanoes, beautiful lakes, as well as llamas and alpacas. In our previous episodes in Mexico, we rode scooters to a number of places in Cozumel as well as in Valladolid to some of the San Jose's. But this is going to be our first road trip by car and we're really excited. So first step for today is to go find a rental car and then we'll be off. See you guys later. No caro? Okay, okay, gracias. No, no, okay, gracias. Hoy no, no caro? Uh, mañana? Okay, gracias. There are no cars for rental in the entire city of Arica. Ah, we did it. We got a car! Well, we did the first step. Don't forget to buy extra gas when you go to Lauka National Park because there's absolutely no petrol stations over there. Driving along Route 11 right now to Putre, and we are surrounded by sand dunes. Kind of reminds me of the Paracas National Reserve. It's the same desert. I think this is Atacama Desert, and the sand dunes are of varying shades of brown and pink. Very nice. Imagine sand rolling down that way. For some reason, there's a green plantation here right beside a sand dune. Right in the middle. Desert. So far, the roads seem pretty smooth and wide. Well paved roads through the desert. What happened to the road? Aww. Another detour. Just catching a glimpse of our first few volcanoes here in Putre. Are those volcanoes? Oh, hi. We just reached the town of Putre, which is a very, very small town and it doesn't look like there's much around the area. But we found a hostel called Hostel Pachamama. Pachamama. And the owner of the hostel, Marco, was really nice. He showed us around. This hostel has a lot of common areas. It has a very chill vibe. There are a couple of French people outside eating cucumbers. <laughs> yeah, but it has a lot of toilets. And the electricity works. We have to test the hot water later. There was hot water and it was amazing. We're gonna have some dinner, which we brought all the way from Arica. Sponsor. <laughs> I heard from Marco that there's gonna be a party in the common area, but knowing us, we'll probably hit the set and then wake up early for Lao Pan National Park tomorrow. So Good cold. morning. It is 7 a.m. and freezing cold here. <sighs> we woke up early before sunrise this morning to get a head start. We're going to be driving to Lauka National Park this morning. But we got no coffee. Oh yeah. Leftover from yesterday. Oh. Cold coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a clear day. So let's go. We managed to find the only shop in the entire town of Putre that's open and myself some coffee in my Mac Cafe cup from yesterday. Instant Nescafe for 
three US dollars. Fantastic. Just drove out of the town of Putri and we're now back on Route 11 and headed to our first stop. The sun is rising over the mountains. It's beautiful. The roads are pretty empty except for some dangerous combustible vehicles. <laughs> We've made our first pit stop. It's even colder now. We're at the Mirador Las Cuevas. There's a little hot spring over here. Which, which isn't so hot. It's not that hot, <laughs> but I think it'll be quite amazing in this cold weather. But the most amazing thing here is that there are so many Andean rabbits or chinchillas. And they come so close. I've never seen them so close before. Yeah, they're so fat. I just want to squish it. They're ah! so fat and furry. <laughs> we have a lot more ground to cover, so can't stay here for too long. Let's go. First sight of snow cat volcanoes. A few moments later. Oh my god! Oh my god, this is the llama! Llamas on the road! Are they friendly llamas? We shall find out. Baby llama. This is tiny baby llama right there. We've come to our third pit stop after spotting some cute llamas. This is Mirado Kota Kotani. Just behind the camera is a view of the most perfect volcano that you've ever seen. If you were going to draw a volcano, <laughs> that is what you would draw. The volcano's names are... Parinakota and... Pumerape. Vulcan Pumerape. Very difficult to say names, but oh my god. It's beautiful. Incredible view with this amazing marsh-like landscape in front of us too. And oh somehow, god. power lines. <laughs> and we're the only ones here. No other tourists. This is the road that leads from Arica in Chile to La Paz in, in Bolivia. Bolivia. There are a lot of uh, truckers driving uh, petrol and gas across the border, but besides us, not a single other tourist. I don't know why because it's beautiful. The landscape is absolutely incredible. Yeah. The roads have been good so far. <laughs> Only a few potholes here and there. A couple more viewpoints coming up, so see you guys there. Picture perfect volcano. Can it get any more amazing than that? Behind us is Bopan Parinakota with a lake in front of it. It's a perfect volcano. There are lots of Indian ducks here and they make a <laughs> laughing sound and it sounds like they're laughing at you for your misery. <laughs> the great thing about doing Lakhon National Park by car is that you can stop at any viewpoint that you want. You find something interesting like this, park your car here 
and enjoy the view. There are options of hiking in this area, but I think we are pretty hiked out after Y wash <laughs> and the upcoming old circuit. So check out that video coming up soon. Oh, wow. So beautiful. That's probably the most perfect viewpoint <laughs> that you could possibly have. It's like a little pier over here where the pier over here. It's a little pier where you can walk out and get the perfect shot of the volcano with it reflecting in the water. <sighs> Incredible. There are a lot of flies around, so that's the only downside. I'm not but sure if they're flies or mosquitoes. Yeah, we'll see if we have a thousand bites later. <laughs> One more stop near Trungara Lake, right on the border between Chile and Bolivia. I'm gonna head over there now. It's supposed to be another amazing viewpoint. We just arrived on the shores of Lake Chungara, which is right in front of Volcan Parinacota and Volcan Kisi Kisini. Both of which are located just on the border of Bolivia and Chile. The lake is located at 4,500 meters. It's pretty cold, but the sun feels really nice. Oh, I love the sun. This is probably going to be our furthest stop along Route 11 mm. in Lauca National Park. This is also the most northern part of Chile that we'll be visiting. Maybe we'll drive a little bit more down to take a look at the border. Clouds are coming in, so hopefully it doesn't rain. So far the weather has been beautiful and the park has been absolutely, totally incredible and amazing. <sighs> We've just reached the end of Route 11 on the Chilean side and over there, you can see the border crossing to Bolivia. Yeah. Just a 10-15 minute drive from the CONAF office and you're at the border. We're not going to cross it because it costs Singaporeans a lot of money. <laughs> what do you want to say? So many mosquitoes! No, look at the car! We have to get out of here! Alright, here's where we turn around and head back. Ah! Uh, can you stop? Let's drive. just stopped by this little town, very little town of Parinacota. It looks like there's not much here, but the main attraction is this quaint little church. The church seems to be built out of stones that have been plastered over by some kind of white plaster material and it gives it a very unique look. You don't see many churches that are white in colour. And the door is pretty ornately done with a very Contrasting colour palette. Very quaint church, really beautiful in this small town of Parinacota. We just passed by this area and you can't see it on the camera but there are a bunch of vicunias and flamingos over there. Let's see if we can get closer. Mm, vicunias crossing the road! <laughs> White flamingos, pink flamingos, vicunias on the other side. And the, two the wildlife in this park is totally crazy. Hundreds of llamas, vicunias, flamingos, and chinchilla. Which is the cutest animal? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the chinchilla. It was definitely the flamingos. Who designed them? <laughs> It doesn't make any sense. Flamingos love like the muddy water and they do like a little shuffle with their feet to agitate the shrimp and then they use their beak and skim underwater. Really fascinating. But their legs are so long, how do they fly? I have no idea. But we saw them flying, <laughs> so they definitely can fly. <laughs> Bienvenido Provincia de Arica. Almost back. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed our content and would like to see us visit more amazing places like this, please remember to like and subscribe. If you have any comments, we'd love to hear from you in the comment box below. Thank you and see you in the next video. I've never seen this being done in my entire life. How can you tell when it's full? 
you're supposed to know how much to put in. Don't pee on me. No. 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 This is my food. Hey. Buen oh. apetito. <laughs> bad cat, bad cat. <laughs> bad behavior. No. No, Chinchero, no. No food for you. Marco is gonna scold me. We just saw some guy walking with he a teddy bear. I think he's walking to Bolivia. There's something swimming in the water, some big swimming in the water. Oh my god, do you see the, the splashes? No, I think those are just birds. 